Don't Try will come out in about a month from now, and you can still pre-purchase it. So until the second of Ju July, actually. And the official website got updated in the last few days, and I was like, whatever, it's just the official website. Nothing much exciting, but I was wrong. And that's why we are here today. Um, the official website for Don't Trail got updated with all the content we will get it. Some pictures about the job, um, glamour and stuff like that. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I don't think that's a video for you. But if you do want to know more about Don't Trail, that's the best. So we are on the main page of the website for Don't Trail, where they present the game. There is nothing new on that page, actually, from before. So they say that there are new jobs, new world, new world as the name of the Western continent, you know? Uh, gameplay, system update, the collector edition that I will try to get, to be honest. And um, more stuff to pre-order the game. But what is interesting is on the top of the screen, you can see we have world, jobs, gameplay, system, and media updated. So we'll jump to world. We have a new continent, Tural, which is compo uh, composed of a rich tapestry of cultures, now united as a single nation. In this uh, vibrant land awaits new friends, fearsome foes, and unforgettable stories. So we go toward New Horizons in Tural, which is comprised of two great landmasses, land Xak Tural to the north and York Tural to the south of the New World, lies uh, far to the west, um, far to the west of Eorzea's shores. Its may, many and diverse peoples spend centuries mirrored in territorial wars until the epic deeds of Gulol Jaja and his dream of Tuli Yolal saw them united under the banner of a single nation. Gulol Jaja is the one inviting um, the warrior of flight to come to the new world, actually, so that's exciting. We have a network of Tuli Yolal, so different ones, actually. So Tuli Loy to Tuli Yolal, I will manage to say that. Tuli, Tuli Yolal, the city of Tuli yeah? Tuli Yol, oh my god, Tuli Yo, yes. Tuli Yolal marches up to the side of the mountain, the path um, from its coastal harbor to the lofty palace as its summit uh, market, um, as its summit market as its summit marked by a profusion of slopes and stairs embodying the ideals of the nation with which it shares a name, um, this ever-bustling metropolis is home to a population drawn from all the lands of Tural. If I remember correctly if, um, why I'm reading that, the Unwalker website was not as exciting as this one, to be honest. In terms of content and stuff, they show. We have different images on the bottom, so we have um, the coastal line of Tuli Loyal. Um, yeah, the little port. And some other picture from the beach. And we've got this little media. Maybe. Okay. They show us the look of Julie Yolal directly in game. Um, I believe that was without every shaders and updated graphics, but most of them still still look neat. Um, we see no NPCs right now, but yeah, that's really a city you want to come back to, to be honest, um, because it will be one of the new hub for Final Fantasy XIV. We have a little door here. Interesting. 
So that's an older video, but still. Next, we have another area. Solution 9, a city of towering facets, constructed by an entity different civilization than, the, than that of Tuliolal. What chain of events could po possibly bring you to this strange place? So this is an artwork, obviously, but we have in-game image with that one, where we see inside the city with big buildings. Um, and the little 40 second videos uh, what insight very futuristic very you know alagan with the uh, eyes right here this will be the second city of um, down trail supposedly people try to uh, translate the world and stuff that was in these images to get to know more, but there were really little detail. After that, we have Urko Pasha. This mundanous region of Yogtural is inhabited by two peoples of vastly different stature, the Shellside Pilu Pilu and the Gargantuan Yok Ui. Um, such disparities, however, shrink into insignificance before the, bro uh, the brooding majesty of Warcock uh, Zormor, the tallest peak in Tural. So again, we have an artwork, some in-game images of some little harbor and cities, or village rather. This will be one of the explorable areas of Duntrail. So very tribalistic, to be honest. Very... Like, th th they have their own culture and you can feel it. It's interesting. With these cards. Some kind of... Land crafting and uh, um, crafting, and a lot of exploration to happen, a lot of quests, I guess. Next, we have Yaktel. Uh, these dense woodlands can be reached by dirigibles, which cross the mountain range of the southeast of Chuliolal. Um, the islands are rich in game and settled by uh, Xbreal. The lowlands, where the thick canopy blocks the sunlight, are inhabited by the Mamulcha. The region is dotted with naturally occurring wells, known as cenotes, uh, which are formed when water accumulates in sinkholes. So again, we have some in-game images with a little village here. Uh, the same village, I believe, but from the top-down view. And obviously, we have a video. What is interesting about that second explorable area is that you have a lot of aids and depth, depending on where you start. And so you can have really different um, feeling of landscape when you explore it. It's a bit like the... Um, yeah, I, won't, I shouldn't do that comparison, but uh, it feels like uh, the southern part of the east continent of World of Warcraft. Um, I didn't play for a long time, so I don't remember the names. But uh, yeah, it, it has a lot of forest and stuff. Next, we have Kozamahuka. To the south of Tulio, last stretch the verdant forest of Kozamahuka. Uh, rivers great and f small flow from mountains to the west and pour into the region, creating breaks, break, breathtaking waters. Uh, waterfalls, oh my god. Um, also, the people which inhabit the region resemble goblins and the Vanu Vanu. They have each built div um, unique cultures within the, this vast wilderness. I think it's more this area that I, that I mean, where you have eight, uh, eight different and stuff. And you can see there are three stages. So from the in-game view, like that. Really looking nice. Oh, 
Uh, this image was taken still without the big graphical overall anyway. So in game it will be uh, looking even better, I believe. Uh, next but not least, we have Shaloni. Shalwani, the rain-starved plain of this region located in the central Tural makes for a striding contrast with the verdant surrounds of its largest lake. Um, the discovery of ceruleum deposits in recent years have brought sweeping changes, uh, change, sorry, f um, to the area, including the construction of a railroad, even as local people uh, maintain their cultural tradition. So it is a bit of the Far West feeling. Uh, an industrial feeling. What is interesting about New World is that you will go from tribal to very high tech, and through that you will go through Western and um, industrialization. And this area is Western and industrialization. You can see on the east a, a, a small town, like a far west to uh, town, and in the middle some factories. And on the west. So aside uh, about the title, some kind of railroad. railroad. So from in-game, you can even have this feeling even more, like that, with railroad. But still, some tribal um, areas around there. you can have a pub. <laughs> That's really great. I believe a lot of people will want to gather in this. I, I, if I was working for Vartin, I would hope so at least. That wasn't it for that. And I believe if you go more to the west, you see there is kind of purple U where the railroad goes. You will find heritage found. In this region overflowing with lightning energies, Thick thunder clouds blot out of the, uh, blot out the sun, while streaks of purple living illuminate the long day and night. We don't have a video about that because it will be spoilery, I believe. But we have still few pictures, as you can see on the very far um, part of the picture, the railroad from the previous re region, I believe, and still in the first plan you have high-tech stuff. That's really intriguing. I really want to know what will happen and why did it happen. Uh, accompanying the new region, we have new threats. So we had Valley Garmanda, which was already announced and in some f pictures before, the legendary be uh, beast. Held to be the mightiest of uh, in all, Tural is possessed of a serpentine body and the wings of a bird. Each time it has embarked upon a rampage, it has inflicted terrible scares, scars upon the land, for which it has be uh, come to be um, dreaded as the Sky Ruin. Okay, so that's a big bird. But this one, these two actually, are new. Eliminator and Barrel Tender. Looks like bosses and looks like they come from two different regions. The, west, the Barrel Tender probably from um, some kind of forest or the desert. An Illuminator from the high-tech city. Both interesting design actually and yeah. I, I really look forward for that. We have a new Allied Societies. So uh, I guess when they say I uh, like societies, it will be like the uh, tribes as well. So that, that will be included in that. So we have the Pelu Pelu. Uh, as depth uh, of an as they are of tongue, these diminutive people from Upko Pasha are best known for their skill as merchants, traveling the continent upon their alpacas. So the, the alpaca hunts are right. Um, to peddle tea, coffee, mezcal, and fabrics woven from the wool of their seeds, or of their steeds. Their masks are an indubitable um, symbol of reliability, uh, making all of who, 
all who don't done them as trustworthy partner in trade. Okay, that was hard to read for me. We have the moblins, so equivalent to the goblins. The moblins of Koza Mauka share some remarkable similarities to goblins, not least of all in appearance. Renowned for their ability to unearth the finest and harvest, these collectors facilitate the creation of beautiful metal works by providing their contracted artisans with superior material and working environs. So they are both about crafting and gathering, to be honest. Uh, if we have them on tribes, Mamulja. So this is a new kind of people. A big population is present in Tural. Hailing from the lowest forest of Yaktel, the Mamulja are divided into three distinctive clans, each possessed of singular talents, the Obigo, Bunewa, and Dopro. And the Mamulja fought bitterly with the people of the Ixbrahal. Um, but after all the establishment of Tuli Yolal, many uh, chose a life of peace within the city instead. Interesting. Next, we have the Yok Hui, which are giants, um, or should be giants. In ancient times, these giants of Uyorko Pasha dominated the Turali continent, but several centuries ago, their power wound. Um, and, they, and they withdrew to a secluded mountain arm, sparse who they are in the numbers, the Yuk, uh, the Yuk UI, UI continue to immortalize their existence with glyphic tradition according to their unique belief of life and death. Okay. And then we have the Anu Anu, which are like Vanu Vanu. Um, so their resemblance are many the Anu Anu of Kozamauka appear a notable difference to their Vanu Vanu counterparts, not least of which being the distinctive view of their feathers. Revering the great bird, um, revering the great bird Kizaihi, um, they reside in waterside environment where they cultivate the verdant reeds upon which they subsist. So we have Five new races, to be honest, to five new cultures and societies to discover. And that's the end of the world section of the website for Don Trail. Next, we have what do we have? We have jobs. For jobs, um, we have obviously two new jobs. The addition of the brand new jobs Viper and Pectomancer is accompanied by updates to the battle system, including new actions for existing jobs and a raised level cap. So first they show us the Viper with the artwork, two pictures of in-game um, job gear plus the weapons that can be um, split or joined together and video about the gameplay. Nice. That was a bit of gameplay showing for the Viper. The Viper's close range fighting style passed down by Turali enters for generations. Uses quick and decisive strikes with two 100, uh, 100 blades alongside powerful flourish, flourishes from a combined 200 weapons. Weapon. Oh my god, I'm tired. Once the foe is weakened, they empowered themselves with the strength of their ancestors to deliver um, a powerful and decisive finishing blow. 
Among the Myriad of uh, Among the Myriad Beast of Tural, a select few awaken the pre, uh, to prenat, preternatural power, becoming uh, what are known as Tural Vidral. To overcome the threat of this um, almighty being, Hunter studied um, one of the nature's deadliest predators. One capable of overcoming foes greater uh, even than themselves, the Viper. They are swift and agile, with dual blade like fangs to bite, or combine into a single weapon to weave about the battlefield. Named for the serpent that inspired their, fi their fighting style, the Viper of Tura remains steadfast in their duty to defend the people. After that, we have the Pictomancer. We only have one um, uh, job related in game picture, so with an Elezen, which is really nice, to be honest, a very high quality. Um, we have the artwork, obviously, on the right, and the video. With brush in hand, a Pictomancer weaves the eyes of their imagination into the fabric of reality, allowing them to manifest their myriad motifs into living muses. Yet every work of art takes time to perfect, and their palette are ever prepared with a colorful arsenal of instant cast abilities and spells. Thus, the fifth astral era is most famously associated with the War of the Magi, a wealth of lesser known legends were forged in that bygone age. Among them is the tale of Archon Helm, an, in an itinerant artist and mage who relinquished her traditional style for a magic uh, brush. With it, she would render abstract image to life, establishing an entirely new school of magic in so doing. Master of this, um, uh, masters of this Archon disciple follow, follow in the Archon's footstep, wielding their own use uh, of either to invoke all manners of fantastical beasts, weapons, and landscape from their mind's eye. For the source of uh, Pictomancer's power lies not in their artistic skill, but the rich, uh, richness of their imagination, with which they strive to paint up a brighter future. So with that, they put back the job action trailer, but for which I invite you to my reaction video for that, or directly for their uh, video on YouTube. You can find the description, obviously. And we will go for the gameplay. So gameplay is about um, addition to the game more than just the story. Gameplay. The season of adventure has pulled into port with scores of new dungeons, raids, and other fresh uh, uh, challenges to test your metal. Need a vacation? Char chart a cosmic course with expansive new lifestyle con uh, content for crafters and gatherers. So first we have the Echoes of Vanadial, a new Alliance Thread series that implies Final Fantasy XI collab. Aventure becomes uh, to an altogether different world Vanadial. What challenges await in this new Alliance Thread cro uh, crossover with Final Fantasy XI? So that's interesting. Uh, there are a lot of similarities between 11 and 14, and even the creation of 14 was based on 11 uh, very, very back, uh, like before Urban Reborn. So that's interesting to 
finally have a real content with Eleven more than just the event. Next, we have the Arcadians, the new red series, um, actually, which definitely happens in Solution 9. Here at the Arcadian, you'll find a grand spectacle, and unlike any other, the realm's greatest fighters pit fist against fist and magic against magic, putting their lives on the line as crowds all and clamor. Each clash more visceral than the last. Step into the arena if you dare, and either rise to become champion or fall forever in in your mitty, in your mini. That sounds really interesting. Uh, is it really an arena and like you climb an arena? A bit like um Enteric Center if you if you know the manga and anime where they have to climb a tower at some point. Not I mean I could do that comparison for Deep Dungeons as well, to be honest. But yeah. We'll see about that red series. Next we have the new Ultimate Red. Features Rewritten Ultimate. And as you can see with the picture, it is about the red series of Shadowbringer. Like a river, the future winds in boundless ways. A single ripple may, after, um, may alter the course of its flow, and as one ripple leads to another, there are other possibilities. So it is in, uh, in this land, once blighted by the flood of light, where the resistance of many gave way um, to a morrow blessed by the night sky. If similarly uh, the future world by two young women were but one of countless possibilities, what other form could they uh, could their morrow have taken? Fascinated by such vision, the minstreling wanderer waves a ballad of futures re rewritten. So it won't be at release, obviously. They never release an ultimate head at the release of a new expansion. That would be uh, quite weird, to be honest. But during the first year of Don't Trail, you will be able to go through futures rewritten ultimate. We obviously have new dungeons, and they showed us two of them, I believe. Across the vast continent of Tyrell adventurers um, will ch face challenging new dungeons and unprecedented threats with perils and um, pitfalls at every turn. It will take steadfast unity and careful coordination to emerge victorious. So we have artwork of both dungeons they showed us with some kind of um, river crossing with a boat, some cave. Um, mountain climbing. I won't go through the video, but um, you get the idea. New lifestyle content, cosmic explorations, that's like the island stuff, I believe. So adventures in space, your curiosity and creativity will fuel a journey that's truly out of this world. So seemingly you will be able to go in the stars, explore. Um get some land in another planet or moon or something we'll see and more than all that you will have new field operations even the most dauntless of sailors would sooner abandon ship than steer into shadow's triangle be not pulled by the lush and fertile island you spy on the horizon men on vessel like have been lost to, the, to its allure never to be seen again Yes, the way the choice is to dismiss it as a mere illusion. But of course, there are inevitably those who cannot resist the call of adventure. So field operation, and they, uh, they put a S on it, is like Eureka and Boja. Beastmaster, the new limited job, so capable of taming the wildest creature and fierce uh, fiends, Beastmaster have unparalleled uh, affinity with their charges. War continues a pace to bring this new limited job to the game. And of course, PvP, Unreal, Hildebrand, Variant Dungeon, Deep Dungeon, Gold Saucer, Trials, Blue Mage, lot of things to come. But this one, uh, that's nice, that's new update because we didn't know much about it. I will definitely make research about Shades Triangle in Firefly 14. 
Next, we have system update. Immerse yourself in the body of Fairzea and beyond with an all new graphic uh, graphics update. The long awaited female Holdgar playable race is one, only one of many exciting additions and upgrades that will enrich your journey. So, obviously, we have the female Holdgar, which was uh, highly anticipated by people and expected since Shadowbringer, actually. So you have the trailer if you didn't see it yet. Everything you can find on YouTube channel of Squinix. But this video shows you the new Hotgar as well as some areas. I can't wait with this kind of um, new addition. They will be played a lot at the first two weeks and then it will go down a bit. But I believe they can be quite popular. Just have to wait and see I guess. Anyway, so the Rodgar people hail from Isabard, a Turali people with a shared ancestry with the Xbral called Yachtel Arm. Oh, females number relatively few among the population, but are readily, um, readily identified by their leaf, muscular forms, equally distinctive in their predisposition for leadership. So there are two a tribe of female Rodgar, obviously. One from Eorzea and one from Tural. The ones from Eorzea are very, very rare in the lore. Not in the game, I guess. First graphical update. First is very important because they will add even more during Dontrell and beyond. The game's first major graphical overall adds a host of visual improvement, including enhanced uh, texture and shadow resolution and improved material created for characters and environment expand the world of Eorzea and beyond like never before. They show us images here with some details on the clothes, the, uh, the flowers and stuff. Here you can see the quality of the texture and the shadows. Um, but I believe it's harder to see it in, um, in the picture than in game, to be honest. Some more, and we have a trailer for the benchmark, but they will change the benchmark. The benchmark, sorry. Anyway, we have system updates. Uh, the expansion has a has a wealth of possibility for character customization, including the ability to apply two different dice to gear, and the option of equipping both headgear and facewear simultaneously. So that will be. So as you can see, the, my, the image, they change the color of two parts of the clothes. Uh, so you can wear a face and a hat at the same time. Additional. Increased level cap to 100. That was, oh my god. That was announced anyway. New gear and crafting receives. So that's what I'm excited about. More than just a story. Duty support updates, like always. Um... So without purchasing Dawn Trail, you will be able to play female Rodgar if you are up to Shadowbringer. You will um, be able to use the new graphical update and the system update. Um, and obviously they do say that some things will be available only at a later patch. Um, when they say that for this... Um, they didn't see it, say it before for the gameplay, but uh, that's more for the gameplay, I believe, and some system update. So next, and finally, the media update, but nothing surprising for you as you followed uh, this video, so you have all the trailers now. Uh, as for the artwork, oh, a surprise for me. So I didn't cover it, but we received the picture of um, 
all the gear for level 90, like the legacy gear for 90, like a guitar for the bard. I didn't when I didn't go through them all yet, but they added the the crafter gear. That's great for me. I will do. I will make a more in depth video for this. And is there any, something in screenshot? No, that was just for the crafter. So yeah, we went through all the. Changes to the website of Duntrail right now. Um, there are so much things announced and so much details that we didn't have until now. Just like for the field operation, so I will make some research about that. Um, it was interesting to me, at least, and I hope it was interesting to you. If you appreciated this video, please consider putting a like to this video, a dislike if not, obviously. Comment below for your feedback about this uh, website update. Subscribe for more fun for the 14 Dub Trail content, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!